Right, I'm here at the AWS reInvent 2023 with one and only Bill McLean, uh, CDO and of Cloud at DataStax. Bill, welcome to the Robert Show. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, Ruby. Glad to be here. Uh, really excited to be able to talk about all the exciting things that are happening here. At oh yeah, this year. definitely. And I'm going to ask you more about you know the exciting announcements that uh, DataStax has had, and obviously around the partnership. Uh, but to start with, uh, I'm pretty sure the with your vast experience, the audience know you pretty well. Uh, but still, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, yeah, my name is Bill McLean, and I'm the CTO for Cloud at DataStax. Uh, I've uh, been here at DataStax for about a year and a half, but I spent over 20 years working in the infrastructure business at Tipco Software, yeah. uh, helping build their messaging data distribution layer. Yeah. So very natural fit for me to come and work as part of the whole kind of generative AI data platform that we have yep. here at DataStax. Okay, and uh, my next question is definitely around what's the most exciting thing. Like, I know it's just day one that we are in, but uh, what are you most excited about uh, your at AWS reInvent? What are you hearing from the prospects and uh, your customers? Uh, you know, what I'm most excited about here is, is just seeing all of the excitement around kind of that next generation, bringing it to the next level true, for true. what people are trying to do with AI and generative AI. You know, AI has been in, in the news for so many months now and it's been such a big hype cycle. I think what we're finally seeing here is, is we're starting to see how do we actually take that and put it into practice? How right. do we actually leverage it and build it into the application space? Yeah, no, I think 100%. That's something which I've been hearing a lot from a lot of leaders as well, even the enterprise leaders. Like after a year of uh, Gen AI, the open AI announcement, now I feel you know, everyone wants to learn more about the real-time applications that are happening. And I know DataStax is definitely running towards that. And you all are already making a few cases. I, bil I like At AWS reInvent, I'll be talking to a few customers as well from DataStax. So I'm pretty excited to learn more about, you know, how you're helping them to get to the next level and making it real for them. Yeah, I think that that's really the key, right? Is, 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 uh, you know, there's there's two aspects that I think you're seeing, right? Is, is, and it's that aspect of, you know, everybody's been building chatbots and, and, and ta tapping into their data. True. You know, I think that that's really, you know, just the surface level. I think the key thing that you said there was is the ability to bring real time into the actual uh, yep. framework and be able to leverage data as it's being generated and more importantly, respond and react to it. That's exactly. where we're really seeing the excitement around what generative AI and what things like data sacks can bring to our customers. Yeah, hundred percent. Also on the on those lines itself, I would I'm also kind of curious to learn more about the partnership with AWS. How does that look like? Yeah, so the partnership with AWS is great. It really has been a wonderful journey. You know, it's really foundation and what we're trying to do is work with our customers to allow them to bring AI applications and all of the tool sets that are needed around them into production faster. And AWS really lets us do that by building up and allowing us to build our whole solution on AWS Bedrock. Yep. And we're actually showcasing that a little bit here to on some of our demos and in some of the lightning talks that we're doing this week. Oh, I can't wait to see. Definitely looking forward to it. Uh, also, another curious question in terms of the joint solutions and you know the integrations, do you want to share a little about that as well with our audience? Sure, yeah, I think that that's really one of the big key areas that a lot of customers are struggling with, yeah. which is there's so many different tool sets out there and what to use when and how True. really comes down yeah. to a, it, it becomes a very big challenge. And that's really what we're trying to do is, is we provide an integration layer and a platform for generative AI that allows you to bring the most appropriate tools to the mix yeah. and allows you to use those tools, like if you're using Lava Index or LangChain, if you need a vector database or if you need a streaming platform, we have that all built into our RagStacks product that yeah. allows you to use those tools appropriately. Yeah, no, I think 100%, this is a very much uh... The need, the need of the hour, I would say, uh, and data stacks is doing the right way. Uh, my last question is definitely, uh, what can the attendees, the folks who are here, can expect, and what are the key takeaways that they can have from data stacks? Yeah, I mean, there's there's so much excitement that I mean, it's yeah. hard to, to narrow it down into just one thing. I know, but you know, from what I would tell you is, from the, the key takeaways from data stacks is, is that what we're really providing is that next level up for our generative AI. It's not about building chatbots that are just a development platform. Exactly. It's about taking those applications and getting them into production and being able to use that data effectively. And you know, one of the things I've talked a lot about is, is that we're hearing a lot of hype around this aspect of generative AI. 
but where we're kind of positioning ourselves and where we see the next level up in yeah. that area is how do we bring predictive and generative together oh, wow. and provide an end-to-end -end solution that allows you to do analysis and not only alert, but then ultimately react and respond and generate new functionality yeah. based on what you're seeing in the ecosystems and the environments that our customers so are So data stacks is actually making it real and making and actually cutting through the hype of Gen AI if there's, you know, obviously uh, a lot that's been spoken about. It's not just now that you can talk about chatbot, you need to actually get into the next level. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'll be also chatting with a few customers from data stacks. So, uh, uh, for our audience as well, we'll keep them posted. But Bill, it was such a pleasure talking to you, and uh, I'm pretty sure you all will have a great show. Ahead. Sounds great, and thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.